Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline for Pixie Dust PhD. It's now January, which means for Disney Vacation Club owners that pay their annual dues in one lump sum, your annual dues are due. Stick with me for this video to see how I pay annual dues in one lump sum online. Specifically this year, I'm going to pay with two payment methods, a credit card and also my Disney Visa Rewards Redemption card. As very brief background, Disney Vacation Club owners have to pay annual dues on a per point basis. If you're paying yearly in one lump sum, these are technically due on January 15th each year, although you're typically given about a month leeway to make that payment. Instead of paying in one lump sum though, you can also pay off your annual dues in monthly installments. However, this has to be set up as an automatic withdrawal from a US bank checking account. Because I have a relatively small Disney Vacation Club contract, my annual dues aren't that high. Therefore, I can afford to pay them off in one lump sum. It's not going to be a big deal for me financially. And I would rather get those credit card points rather than set up the monthly withdrawal from a bank account. A relatively recent update in Disney Vacation Club owner life is that if you are paying online, you can use a variety of forms of payment. This includes credit cards, debit cards, Disney gift cards, and that Disney rewards redemption card. And if you don't want to deal with keeping track of this annually, but you do plan to pay in a lump sum, you can set up auto pay with the same credit card every year. Personally, I just prefer to handle my bills on my own rather than automatic payments. If you do want to use a Disney rewards redemption card, you accrue rewards through using your Disney visa. I have the free Disney visa. I have gone over my experience of getting that credit card and using it as well as the general overview of its perks in a prior video. You can check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. But overall, I would say I really don't use my Disney visa that much, so I don't have a ton of rewards. My partner and I do still tend to charge most things either to our Hilton American Express credit card or our Capital One Venture credit card. As of mid-December 2022, I had about $50 worth of rewards accrued though, so I figured I would order my redemption card and go ahead and apply those to my annual dues this year. The rewards redemption card is literally a separate card from your actual visa. It has a different number and everything, so you do need to order it. I ordered mine mid-December and it came about a week later. It was guaranteed to come within about two weeks. However, generally speaking, if you definitely want to have it in hand before a trip down to the Disney parks or similar, I would order your redemption card three weeks in advance. If you forget to do this in advance though, my understanding is you can go ahead and get that rewards redemption card in person at a guest relations location. When my rewards redemption card arrived in the mail, I did have to call to activate it. There was no option to do this online or in an app or anything like that. That being said, the phone number you're given is specifically only for card activation. You type your rewards redemption card number into your phone and then it's activated. It took me maybe 45 seconds to do. You don't actually have to speak to a customer service representative or anything. It's all automated, so it's not a big deal. And here's what the rewards redemption card looks like. Again, it's separate from your actual Disney Visa card. It's a very pretty blue purple holographic situation. Let's go ahead and pay our dues then. On the Disney Vacation Club website, obviously you need to log into your account. From there, you can go to your dashboard and navigate to your dues, or you can go straight to my annual dues. If you are on your dashboard, the dues will show up as this little icon here in the menu on the right. All right, this is your annual dues overview page, and you can see here in the red text that we do have new dues billing statement available, AKA we owe them money. For my 90 point contract this year, my dues are about $663. Here in this middle is where you can set up automatic payments, whether that is monthly through your bank account or yearly with a credit card. But if you wanna just pay them off in a lump sum, you click this pay button. Last year, I paid in a lump sum with one form of payment, just my credit card. If you wanna see that process, I will leave a link to that video in the description below. Like I said, this year, we're going to proceed with two forms of payment, the rewards redemption card, as well as a credit card. Even though we're planning to pay this off fully today, you can see that if you want to use multiple forms of payment, instead of pay off your balance, you're going to select pay by contract. So here, select amount to pay, there's pay balance and pay by contract. We're going to do pay by contract. To pay with multiple forms of payments, you're going to apply the other amount. And in my head, it makes sense just to start with the rewards. You will have to know how much rewards you either want to use or the max amount you have on your card. For me, I'm just gonna use everything I have. If you do want to use the full amount, you can go ahead and check your rewards balance at DisneyRewards.com. I have $52.60 loaded, so that is the partial other amount I'm going to apply to my dues right now. Next, select the payment method. In this case, a Disney Rewards Redemption card. You'll have to enter your Disney Rewards Redemption card number, so be sure to have it handy. And once you've done that, go ahead and submit that payment. Okay, great, so here's our first partial payment. Now to finish this off, we're going to make another payment. A bit frustratingly, when I clicked make another payment and it loaded, it still loaded the full dues amount, $663 and change, not that amount minus the 50 or so dollars from the redemption card. If we navigate back to my annual dues overview page, you can see this has now updated to be $611 or so. So now from here, I'm going to click pay dues again. So the make another payment button works, but you would have to know exactly how much was left in your balance if you were trying to pay it off. 
That's not something that I made note of in that last confirmation screen. But here we are now after having refreshed this payment page through our annual dues overview. And since I'm not going to use different forms of payments anymore, I can just pay off the balance. And this time I'll be using a credit card. Of course, you can put this on whatever credit card you want. A lot of folks do use their Disney Visa credit card because why not? You're paying Disney anyway, and then you can get the one to 2% back depending on which credit card you have in rewards. In my case though, I'm actually gonna put this on my Hilton Aspire American Express credit card for those rewards instead. If you wanna learn more about that credit card and specifically how my partner and I make it work pretty well for traveling to Walt Disney World, check out a prior video on the channel. I will leave a link in the description below. Once you've entered your credit card information, you can simply submit the payment then to go ahead and pay off that balance. And fantastic, now you can see that the remaining dues balance for my membership is $0. We paid off annual dues for another year of Disney Vacation Club fun. I hope this was a helpful look behind the curtain for you. Paying in two payment methods is a little bit clunky, but you can do it all online now, which is great. And like I said earlier, you can also use Disney gift cards in combination with your rewards and or a credit or a debit card. So there's a lot of options there for you. If you did enjoy this, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can ring that bell icon to receive notifications whenever I upload new videos. And don't forget, if you are paying annual dues in a lump sum, they're due pretty soon. Don't get hit with a late fee. May the rest of your day be magical, and we'll see you real soon at Pixie Dust PhD.